What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be going over that Cade Simpson has officially announced that he actually does want to come back to the AFL and come out of retirement. So I'll be going over my top five teams I reckon he could go to and the reasonings behind um, him actually going to these teams. So before we do get in this video, make sure to drop a like and a subscribe and also follow my TikTok. I was away on a holiday for the past week, so some of the videos were a bit pre-recorded. The tips video was pre-recorded from last Thursday, so that's probably why the tipping could have been a bit off, but we'll have to wait and see. It is only Friday. So I'll be going over Kate Simpson's top five uh, locations. He could actually end up in the mid-season draft, so let's get straight into it. And number five, I do have the Western Bulldogs. Now, the Western Bulldogs probably could really use a player like Cade Simpson, judging that their halfback line has been a bit, you know, changed over the time. Having a lack of probably their weakest line is probably their defensive setups. So you'll probably think that if Cade Simpson came in, he could teach some of the defenders a thing or two. Uh, obviously, they have Caleb Daniel, so Caleb Daniel could work pretty well with Cade Simpson. Uh... Joe Hannison seems to be pretty out of favour, even though he got a game on the weekend. And I think he's going to game this weekend too. But still, he's a bit out of favour. They do have Taylor Duray, but you'll probably think that Taylor Duray will probably be out of favour if someone like a Kate Simpson uh, could come in. I don't know if he would play straight away, judging that the Bulldogs are currently like on the top of the ladder. But I could certainly see him playing a VFL role, and it'll be really great leadership. The only reason I didn't put Bulldogs higher on this list is because they don't actually currently have any list spots available to enter the mid-season draft, but if a long-term injury does come up, then they would have a spot to fill. Next up, I've gone with the West Coast Eagles. The West Coast Eagles currently don't have any list spots available, but judging that their halfback line has been a bit suspect uh, with the likes of Shannon Hearn going out, they just did bring in Alex Witherden. They do have Liam Duggan that does go back, but they kind of want him more as a midfielder, especially uh, with the lack of mids they got. They've had a few young guys like Nelson and Rotham, and even Jared Brander and Waterman go back there, but they they probably don't want them, uh, especially Waterman, back there. And if they could have some experience back there, especially with the loss of Shannon Hearn, that would be very good for their football club. But uh, sadly, unlike the Western Bulldogs, they don't actually currently have any list spots available. But if something does come up, like a long-term injury or a retirement or something like that, then they would have the list spot available to go into the mid-season draft. But that's what holding is holding them back right now. Next up, I reckon the Geelong Football Club. Now, this is probably the first club that everyone thought of when they saw that Kate Simpson was coming out of retirement uh, with the new you know, trend going around that they pick up all these 30-year-olds. So... If this happens that he actually could fill in. Now they do have a pretty good, uh, you know, backline right now, but having uh, losing a little bit of speed back there uh, with the lack of they've had, they've had to track Jack Henry into the forward line, which probably is their fastest defender. Mike O'Connor's played a bit of midfield, um, and so has Zach Tui playing as more of a, you know, half forward wing role, and then they have Jordan Clark that plays back there. But having someone like Cade Simpson back there would help him a lot. Uh, with some leadership, uh, and then, you know, even though they have a lot of leadership around right now, a player like Kate Simpson would be really good to fill in uh, back there, and having a bit of, even though he's 36 years old, he still has a lot of pace on them legs, never really makes a bad decision, a great kick at the football, and will open up someone like a Zach Tui and a Jordan Clark to push more into the midfield, but sadly, like the other two teams we just mentioned, they will not be um, able to actually get into the mid-season draft unless a mid-season injury or a long-term injury happens or an actual uh, retirement happens at the football club. Next up is the Melbourne Demons. And the Melbourne Demons have had a kind of a, a weird backline. The, the backline has been very, very good this season with the likes of the key position players like Stephen May, um, Jake Lever and Adam Tomlinson as their three type of tools. And then they've had Neville Jetta to come in and kind of come back into form and fill in a role. And then with Trent Rivers and Jaden Hunt and Christian Salem, they've had a really good uh, mix of talent. But if they bring in someone like a Cade Simpson, they could, like, they, I don't think they really want to play Neville Jetta as much as they used to. He hasn't been too great. He's played a bit of a more of a lockdown role. But someone like a Cade Simpson could come in and allow someone like a Christian Salem to go up to a wing. Because there's been a lot of talk that Christian Salem would be really good in a wing, but uh, with the lack of kind of depth in their back line, 
they wouldn't be able to push him that far up the ground without losing someone. And then that could actually mean that Jaden Hunt could also go into the forward line because he was really good as a forward line uh, player last year. But him playing more as a halfback has been pretty good. But they could even open him up and playing on a wing. And he'll really add some pace to kind of a slow back line if you do take away uh, Jaden Hunt. And this could actually happen simply because they actually do have a couple list spots available in the midseason draft. So they will be able to enter the midseason draft and pick up a player. So I don't see why they would not take the chance on Cade Simpson even if he doesn't play too much. The number one team I've gave it to St Kilda. Now St Kilda do have three list spots available in the mid-season draft and I feel like Cade Simpson could be a perfect fit. Some of their halfbacks have been really out of form this season and they're currently sitting at two and three. So I don't know, he said, Cade Simpson did say he wants to go to a finals team. I do expect the Saints to be playing finals but the way they're going right now, the, the, their back line has looked uh, really out of shape this season and sometimes it could be you know, out of control and sometimes don't make the best decisions. So I feel like with a smooth head like Kate Simpson could really help since they are missing a lot of experience with uh, Jaron Geary, their captain, actually being injured as a halfback, uh, which is really, really showing of how they set up behind the ball and kind of a bit of lack of leadership back there uh, with also James Frawley being out injured too. So someone like, a, uh, you know, Kate Simpson could really help and there actually is a connection there because... Uh, fun fact that Brett Ratton did actually coach and play with Cade Simpson. So they do have a bit of a connection there that could help Kate, uh, you know, St Kilda's chance of actually bring them back into the finals contention this year after having a very, very poor start. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to drop a like and a subscribe. And thanks for watching.